good morning student my name is abhushan shekhar bhoi from department of accounting and finance in sangu gana thakur college today we are going to see the introduction to auditing so we will start by the unit 1 that is auditing but before begin the session we will ask uh, we would like to tell you about the auditing auditing means and proper examination of every transaction every uh, aspect of accounting transaction happens throughout the year whether the corporation is uh, incorporated profit making or uh, ngos or a non profit organization every business unit has to do has to do auditing process and finalize their accounting financial statements to the authority so that's why the auditing we are going to see the auditing in auditing there are four modules and the first module is introduction to auditing so in introduction to auditing there are certain chapters like basics of in, uh, auditing then second errors and frauds of auditing in the concept of error errors and frauds what are the difference between errors and frauds third principles of audit what are the principle to be followed in audit and last one next one is a types of audit miscellaneous and accounting concept relating to auditing so this will be the uh, chapters in module 1 so in first chapter that is basic to auditing the first one we will see the meaning and definition of the auditing the second then we will see the objective of the auditing why uh, auditing is been done and why it is necessary so that will be our objective of auditing third is a financial statement what is financial statement and how it is been made we will see and then detection of frauds and errors what is difference between what is the concept of frauds what is the concept of error what is the difference between fraud and errors we will see then limitations of audit so let's begin with our session with meaning and definition of the auditing so as we know that audit is an independent examination of financial financial information of any entity whether the profit oriented or not or irrespective of its size or legal form when such examination is concluded with the view of expressing an opinion thereon so as per the definition or as per the meaning the auditing is done by every form of organization whether it is a profit oriented organization or it is a ngo or non profit organization so according to icai that is indian chartered accountant of india the auditing is defined as a systematic and independent examination of data statement records operation and performance financial or otherwise of an enterprise for a stated purpose so here we have to focus on the certain term that is a systematic and independent examination of data so whatever data we been collected throughout the year that should be recorded systematically and it is done by independent person that is an auditor which is an internal auditor or we can say the third party we can appoint as an auditor so the data and statements and records operation vouchers etc whatever evidence we are needed for auditing pur purposes performance and financial or otherwise of the enterprise for the stated purpose so the above definitions we have certain importance elements and they are there are three certain uh, elements important elements first one is a independence the auditor has to express an opinion on the financial statement examined by him therefore the auditor should free from any interest which might distract his objectivity so the first person that the auditor must be an independent person that's why auditor is appointed as a third party who invest or who can audit our entire business activity entire business transaction in a proper way or not a biased way so that's why the independent opinion of the auditor must be there the so second one is the auditor's opinion the auditors has to express an opinion the on the financial statement examine in the form of an audit report the audit report is an expression of opinion rather than statement of verified test so that's why the report the report is an expression of opinion of the auditor auditor whatever auditor feels he mention that feeling in the reports audit report and third one is a 
financial statements the financial statement comprises of balance sheet and profit and loss accounts notes and other statements which collectively are intended to give a proper understanding of financial position the auditor has to express an opinion on the financial statement so whatever profit and loss account statement income statement or financial statement has been done by the company that must be properly audited by the auditor so these three elements are very important from the definition are contain any kind of audit whether the profit oriented or not and is irrespective of its size or legal uh, legal form so that means that whether company is profit oriented or ngo or uh, the size is a big company small company small scale company or micro size company all must be audited according to the icai then the next question we are moving to the next question that is objective of the auditing so the first objective of auditing is reporting the primary objective of auditing is to reporting whether the financial statement present a true and fair view of the financial position balance sheet and financial performance of profit and loss account during that period so here the auditor must report the audit report which is a true and fair view that audit report must be true and fair according to the auditor so that is the first objective that must be, uh, that is true and fair view of the audit report the second one is a expression of opinion so as we earlier discuss about the expression term expression it is an opinion done by the auditor whatever auditor feels he writes or he notified that in the audit report the objective of an audit of financial statement prepared within the framework of recognized accounting policies and relevant statutory requirement is to enable an auditor to express the opinion of such financial statement and whatever financial statement statement been made that financial statement is properly scrutinized and according to that the opinion opinion of auditor must be presented towards it the third objective is true and fair view very important the main objective of the auditing that the whatever presentation is been done as a audit report that must be true and fair the auditor duty is to express an opinion on financial statement that is first one auditor opinion auditor's opinion help to determine the true and fair view of operating result financial position of an enterprises whatever financial position whatever results whatever transaction is been done throughout the year that must be presented as per the evidence uh, available throughout uh, throughout the company and the second one is a user the user however should not assume that the auditor's opinion is an assurance as to the future viability of the interference of the efficiency or the effectiveness audit report is important but it is done for only one year so we cannot assume it will be uh, available or it will be beneficial for the further year it is done for only one year the next objective of an auditing is management responsibility the management of an enterprise is primarily responsible for the preparation of financial statement so financial statements are not done by auditor they just check the financial statement made by the management or the accounting management so the second one the management responsibility includes maintenance of adequate accounting records manage it is the duty of management accounting managers that they should be as per the, they should have every records of every transaction done throughout the year and internal control selection of application of accounting policies safeguarding of assets and enterprise depreciation etc whatever assets is been purchased sales the depreciation is calculated or not all must be done by the auditor hence the audit of the financial statement does not relieve management or management of its responsibility so whether the audit so when uh, even the audit report is done by the auditor but the main process is the main process is done by management because they have to prepare financial statement they have to prepare uh, income statement and auditor just analyze that examine that with a proper evidence so these are the objective of auditing and so here we uh, are going to start uh, stop this today's session and the next session we will be done for the next module thank you